Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours. Today I'm in Cetona, yes, the southern Tuscany. I'm in the entrance or the entrance of the Val Dolce and Pienza is about half an hour away. Cusi is only 10 minutes away where you can pick up a train to Rome and we are going to tour this most incredible, and I say that sincerely, absolutely incredible apartment right in the middle of the main square. And I will tell you right now, when I give you the price at the end of this video, one of you will want to buy this. I guarantee it. I want to buy it. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, I'm just gonna give you um, a little pan of the main square. And you've got literally everything on your doorstep. Restaurants, little shops. What I love about, you know, Italian cities or these small towns is that you've still got the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker, you know, and they haven't been pushed out. I'm just gonna pull up to see the staircase. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we don't need to see any more. Right, I'm gonna come up the stairs. And the first room I'm going to go into is the reception room. And as I pull the camera around, I mean, what a room. <laughs> it's just, it's just Italy through and through. And I'm going to lift up and show you this exquisite ceiling. Wow, we, I really, oh, it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now, anybody who has been to Chaterno would know that there's a castle at the top of the hill and I believe that was sold by Cosimo the first in the 1600s. <laughs> it's one of the nicest rooms I've seen. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you the full immersion because I want to come back and show you the other side. I think it's really important. Wow. I mean, we're only in the first room. I mean, look at the light. Oh, it's just beautiful. Right. Yeah, that's done it for me. I'm going to give you the view of the top of the stairs because I think uh, that's also important as we come through. I mean, look at that. Utterly charming. Beautiful high ceilings. We'll get to those in a minute. Now it's a little orange because the camera is set for almost daylight, but some um, 
There's not much I can do about that, but if we get in here and we will come into bedroom one. Look at these tiles on the floor. I don't know what to do first. I'm just overwhelmed. Okay, let's do the tiles first. There's a bit of flare, what's it coming down? I mean, look at these. Now, I've been given the opportunity to shoot this property by a agency called Cowatelli. And I met the realtor this morning, Roberto, and he is just a delightful man. He really is. I think I want to be his friend. And if we come back and I lift up, Oh, I can see a beautiful Murano glass chandelier. Let's get up there and show you this. Oh, it's coming into frame now. Oh, it's exquisite. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just stunning. Beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me, beautiful room. Two big windows facing south, overlooking the Tuscan countryside. Just exquisite furniture. Actually, I don't really need to potentially talk very much because it's just, it's just so beautiful. I think you can just, you can just, you know, just look at it and be happy. Coming back into the hallway, I can see there's been some mix and match over the years with different flooring and I don't care. <laughs> I, I really don't care. Bedroom number two. Stunning. Another beautiful chandelier. That, to me, looks Art Deco. Now this room has parquet flooring. And then the window to the right basically looks over the square. And I think I'm just, I, 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 I think we'll put the camera out just so you can get an idea of this. Yeah, and the, the darker orange building is Valentino's summer house. As the camera adjusts to the inside, you will see again some beautiful Murano glass mirrors. And a double bed. What a beautiful apartment. It is exquisite. I absolutely, I absolutely adore it. All right, where are we going, Nick? 
Let's go to the left. Now, there is not a bathroom en suite and to be honest with you, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. I think that it's uh, the location of the property and everything about it. I don't mind walking to the toilet. I'm just going to pull around. So in here you've got a bath bidet, a shower recessed and a loo and a sink. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now this apartment is approximately 270 square meters. The building is listed. There's a staircase going up onto the uh, top floor, but I think we're going to wait to do that until we finish the tour. And I think I'm going to end up there because it's such a beautiful room. Oh, really? It's just beautiful, everything about it. It's, you know, the styling, the size, the height of the ceilings, the, uh, the columns which are in the walls, the ladies adorning the staircase. And here we go into the dining room. Now I mentioned a bit of Fornazetti, which you can see between the windows and that's just incredible. But what I do want to show you is this beautiful, absolutely beautiful terracotta fireplace. Oh, I want it. I really do. It's just gorgeous. And I've spoken to Roberto and he said, yes, it does work. And I can see the, the remains of ash in there. So yes, it probably does. Now I'm going to, uh, what I really love about it is that it's, it's, well, I mean, bathrooms are bathrooms. You know, it's, bathrooms are a very personal thing, aren't they? But it's, it's, it's had updates over the years. And what makes it so beautiful is, is it has had updates over the years. That's what makes it beautiful. Everywhere you look in this apartment, there is beauty. So we've just come from the dining room and we are going to go into the kitchen, which was done in the 70s. <laughs> it's amazing. That is very traditional Italian, having the curtains to uh, hide to all bits and bobs. I just think it's great. Yeah, I just want to move in. Now, if we pull around, you will see a, another fireplace. And I sincerely hope that works because I would want that to work as well. Now the furniture does not or is not included in the sale and I will try to find out for you if the furniture can be bought by separate negotiation.
Oh, what have you? Well, I don't mean the lady's bottom. I mean, what have you? What have you? Everything. I'm I actually, I'm going to pull back, right, so that you can see that. And then I'm going to get a little higher so you can get an idea of the ceiling. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I hope you're enjoying this. I, 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 I'm, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So bathroom two, and I'm just going to pop in here, and I am going to tell you that there's no B day, and there's a sink to the right with a mirror. And then you can see the shower. But I can see a bidet attachment hose, which is all the rage. Now, to the door just to the right of me, there's a very big closet and we're coming down now to the back of the property to bedroom three and that's I mean not huge but again just beautiful and then if I look up here it has a very nice chandelier and a lovely view over green and the gardens. Let's get a bit of closer so the camera will adjust. Hey, look at that for your view in the centre of the town. Right, we are now going to go up to the top floor. So I've walked around the hallway now this is a very famous building because Gary Baldi came to stay here with his wife Anita in 1849 for the unification of Italy. And there is a plaque on the outside of the building. Just to the right of me, there is a huge storage space, but we're not going to go in there. I think there are more important things to see. Right, the cherry on the cake. We're in the main square. And you have this absolutely beautiful room with windows on all sides. Overlooking the square. Overlooking Valentina's country house. And overlooking the Tuscan countryside. Gary Baldi, a very famous Italian man in the mid 19th century, who brought Italy together, stayed in this house for three nights with his wife. It's a famous house. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, beautiful dining room, fantastic kitchen, I wouldn't change anything, not really interested. It's got some mix and match of tiling, parquet, original flooring, other bits, you know what? Just leave it, put some rugs down. I am really, a couple of things that I did see, which I want to point out to you. Um, the electrics probably need updating, but I have a, th you know, I've, I've got a personal feeling about that. If it's not broke, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Don't fix it. It works. Uh, one thing that I might consider doing at a later stage would be to um, double glaze all the windows because they're only a single glaze. But if I was staying here in the summer, even that, I'd probably 
wouldn't bother. The room upstairs, wasn't that basically delightful? I mean, your own studio on the top floor with 360 degree views and a little bit of outside space if you want to take 10 minutes of sun. All in all, it's the most beautiful apartment. Property tax, Roberto has told me, is going to be around two and a half thousand, but I'm just waiting for the right figure. But if you say two and a half thousand, you're probably right. And the price, the price of this property is 370,000 euros. Yes, you did hear me right. 370,000 euros. And if I had 370,000 euros, I will be buying this house. It just typifies everything Italy has to offer. And if you want to send me a check by FedEx, then please just do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian Montague property tours. All of you who have subscribed, I can't thank you enough. If you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push, push those buttons on your phone, on your computer, wherever you are, and that would help me so I could help you. I hope you enjoy this as much as I did doing it. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.